This Dusk Proto tutorial is about lithophanes. I will skip the basic information. You can find that in the tutorial that shows how to create the flat lithophane that you are seeing right now. Today we will create a round lithophane with the same picture, a lamp shade for a small light. We will do so using the Desk Protocam software, a CNC milling machine with rotation axes and a piece of plastic pipe. For this project we will need a full edition of Desk Proto 5. The 4.2 edition doesn't have bitmaps and the light edition doesn't support rotation axis machining. Still with Desk Proto Lite you can make lithophanes, however flat lithophanes only. Ok, we start Desk Proto 5. And here it is. We do not need the wizard, so I'll cancel the wizard and I start with creating a bitmap operation here in the tree. We do not need 3D machining, so I'll delete the 3D operation, yes. And in the bitmap operations, the one thing I need to do is browse for my uh, photo. It's a doggy, uh, the dog of my... Uh, daughter's dog in fact as you can see it has been rotated 90 degrees as we want to wrap it around uh, the tube later and the tube is oriented along the x-axis okay um, now I want to define the tube I can do that in the part parameters first I say I want to use rotation axis machining then in the segment I can define how large my uh, tube is I take a length of 100 millimeters and the diameter is 70 so the radius should be 35 millimeters and last of all I want to make the outside of the tube so the top of the part zero okay so here we are you can see the picture still is a bit too small so the next thing I want to do is make it larger I again go to into the bitmap operation and in the settings I can define how large it is. It is 300 dpi, which is 40, uh, 44 millimeters. I want to make that about 100. It will scale the other axis. Let's see what has happened here. This is about what I want. Okay. I want to now move it along the x axis a bit. So that's it. it and it's in the center of my tube and I want to change the Z values that you say here the relief has to be machined inside the tube not added to the outside that's difficult using a milling machine so I go back to my bitmap settings here I give a translation over X of 10 millimeters and the Z value has to be set of 1 millimeter milling depth the black needs to be the outside of the tube, so 0 mm depth for uh, black. And the deeper I machine, the thinner the material is, so the more white the result will be, the more uh, light will come through the material. So I make my milling depth for white minus 1 mm. The thickness of my tube is 1.5 mm, so that will be okay. So here I see what will happen. I'll zoom in a bit from the outside of the tube it goes to one millimeter deeper okay now finally have to set uh, a cutter we tried this using a conical cutter as well but that didn't result in good results uh, in a smooth surface two millimeters and say one tenth of a millimeter for the two distance between the toolpath and the stamp size along the toolpath Okay, I can now say calculate toolpath. And as you can see it's completely it's completely red right now, so many toolpaths, so I need to zoom in a bit here and here you can see the white the cutter goes deeper and the black it stays on the outside of the tube. Two millimeter cutter, that's my roughing stage. It's only one millimeter deep, so it can do so in one go. And uh, but it will show two little details. So I will add a, an operation, a finishing operation using a one millimeter diameter cutter. I copy this operation, uh, double click again. I call it finishing, and I choose a different cutter, one millimeter 
diameter again 10 toolpath per millimeter I say again calculate toolpath and here we are a large number of toolpath this is the finishing you can almost not see the difference but when I zoom in it should be possible to see some difference between the finishing and the roughing not in the finishing it will go a bit deeper in small areas okay that's it those are my toolpath I want to save them just call this one roughing as well a roughing to make it more clear yes now select only the roughing save the toolpath roughing yes only the visible operation that will take some time I'll do the same using finishing and then I'll be ready to go to my milling machine Now we need to turn this pipe into a lamp shade. This can be done simply by adding a bottom plane. This extra part is machined from transparent plastic using Desperato's 2D machining option and then assembled using super glue. You can see the four extra holes to make hot airflow possible. Next, the plastic screw that came with the lamp is attached. And here is the result. The outside may look weird, but watch what happens when you switch on the light. It's amazing. A second lampshade showing two girls and used as a gift for their grandmother. It was an appreciated birthday present. Much value added to a PVC pipe that did cost only 2.5 euros per meter. Desk Proto includes many more options. See the website for more information.